Venice, city of gondolas and waterways, and a fitting place for a dog that was born to the sea. Mass is a Newfoundland, a breed they call the lifeguard dog. For the last 10 years, Mass and her owner Ferruccio Palenga have worked the beaches of Italy, and dozens of swimmers and surfers owe their lives to this remarkable team. But today, even climbing stairs gives her trouble. The years of rescue work have taken their toll. Mass now suffers from arthritis. Mass is almost 11 years old, so it's normal that some problems have started. It's been years since she last ran, but other than that, she still does everything that a young dog does. But in her prime, Mass was a legend. The pioneer of an extraordinary new rescue technique. Water rescue dogs working from boats or on beach patrol are common throughout the Mediterranean. But Mass and Ferruccio were the first team to use a helicopter in a rescue mission. It was very moving the first time we did it. We were alone and there wasn't anyone to help us. The dive was from a high altitude, three or four meters. Mass was fantastic. She went out before I did, without hesitating. To the drowning man, it must have been a strange and wonderful sight. Ferruccio kept him afloat, and Mass pulled them both to safety. Even as a puppy, ten years ago, Mass had shown a natural talent. The rescue instinct is common to all Newfoundlands. I was lucky because Mass is very instinctive, and from the beginning I had a dog who was easy to work with. It was the dog that trained me, and not the other way around. Ferruccio and his team quickly learned the value of Mass's natural instinct. Mass was the first canine lifeguard in Italy, but she's now almost too old for frontline duty. I realized there would come a time when Mass would no longer be able to make rescues. And while I don't believe it's arrived yet, I think it is time to find other dogs that can do the job as well. So Ferruccio opened a school to train other dogs to take her place. And Mass, the veteran rescue dog, has become the teacher. At the pier, ready to make their first jump, Mass will show them how it's done. Mass has a lot of energy, which is transmitted to the other dogs. It's a type of imitative learning. She's got this incredible energy and this great desire to work, and I think the other dogs feel it. Though some need a little more encouragement than others, one by one, they follow her lead. In the water, Mass demonstrates how to work with a handler, collecting a struggling swimmer and towing them both to shore. But now comes the toughest part of the training. It's one thing to jump from a pier, 
something else entirely to jump out of a hovering helicopter. If the dogs are to prove their worth as rescuers, they must overcome their fears. The Coast Guard is here to watch the tests. They regulate water safety in Italy, and they're skeptical. Again, Mass goes first. She's accustomed to the deafening noise and turbulent winds of the helicopter. She's made these jumps dozens of times before. And even in the heavy current, she gets to the swimmer in trouble in a hurry. This is how the rescue is supposed to end. But the big question is, how will the rookies perform? They hesitate at the open door. Then, one after another, they follow Mass's lead and take the plunge. They pass the test. Mass and the School for Canine Lifeguards have earned the official recognition of the Italian Coast Guard. Mass has done her job well, but it's not time to retire just yet. I think that if Mass is put out to pasture, she'll grow old much more quickly. I'm limiting her activities now, but I still want her to do something. Ferruccio sees a time when there will be a hundred rescue dogs patrolling the shores and the skies above the vacation beaches of Italy. When that day comes, just maybe, Mass will be ready to retire.